Hi folks, this is Sario for CBNR. Today we are going to uh, look into um, how manual therapy uh, helps in uh, pain modulation. Uh, to, so before uh, getting into it, uh, you need to uh, know some of the issues we are going to discuss. Uh, the first thing is when you uh, do a manual therapy. Uh, what I mean by manual therapy is uh, any passive movement uh, given in different uh, degrees of force, right, in different ranges of motion, whether it is Kelterborn, Syriax, Maitlan, uh, everything is the same. If it is a passive movement, it is a passive movement, uh, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, you can say all sorts of uh, gimmicks in it, uh, it doesn't matter, right. Then you ask me why it doesn't matter because. Uh, Unlike in the olden days, now we are very sure manual therapy has very little effect on the periphery. What I mean by periphery is putting it, if I, if I give a pressure on L4, L5, I am not putting it in the right place. I am not putting the, jo uh, the bone in the right place or the joint in the right place. Right? If I do a, a quick manual, uh, ma manipulation, I am not putting the joint uh, in the right place. Uh, so that kind of things uh, don't happen. Uh, we also are not changing something inside the joint, right? Uh, that is also uh, not happening much, uh, probably very, very few. There is nothing happening. And there are also uh, some uh, extremely poorly educated people who think that uh, manual therapy changes uh, fascia and uh, probably uh, your brainstem and uh, uh, the brain, it will make your hair grow very well. That kind of uh, idiots are also there, but again, that doesn't happen. It cannot happen, it will not happen because it is a biological system. Biological systems need time to adapt, right? So if you can't change any of these things, just like that, right? So what does it change? It changes perception, right? How your brain perceives the, brain, uh, the, the pain. Depending upon the perception of the pain, the pain is modulated. What we mean by modulated is it is increased or uh, decreased. So that happens in your nervous system, right? It doesn't happen in your fascia or in your blood vessels and things like that, right? So in the modern sense, what happens after manual therapy is predominantly what happens to your nervous system, right? So, uh, this is a model I have developed for um, manual therapy or any passive movement, right? So, we will assume the flame as the pain. We already know that uh, pain is a danger signal. Right. So whenever a patient has pain and if you are asking him to move towards it, right, uh, he is afraid of the flame, that is the pain, and he is not willing to move towards it. Right. So in manual therapy, what they will do is they will do it two or three, three ways. One is they will slowly move it here itself, that is far away from the pain and they don't go much into the pain. Then the next one is they will go nearly towards the pain so that the patient is slowly accommodating to the idea of moving towards the flame or your danger signal right in case of manipulation or grade 4 or 5 manipulation they will go very fast into the uh, flame itself right and the patient is okay suddenly he's gone into the uh, into the painful region and he feels something else or he is feeling or perceiving it differently so right what happens when I uh, move the joint? Remember, uh, movement by definition uh, activates your nervous system, right? So when you move, your nervous system is activated and as I told you, it goes up and it is perceived in your brain and then the modulation starts, right? And <clears throat> when you are uh, talking about modulation, it is uh, becomes purely a, 
neurophysiological or endocrinological uh, issues that is it secretes uh, opioids uh, it activates your PAG which sort of calms your ner nervous system sometimes it activates sometimes it calms you but in manual therapy it might actually calm you something like that happens right and also remember a lot of people have also claimed to manual therapy to work uh, remember pain is contextual that is it is dependent on the environment and things like that so the patient has to perceive that uh, the therapist is a expert the surrounding region should be calm and beautiful and things like that um, so there are other placebo effects are also uh, considered as uh, important so there are three parts to it I think I'll just summarize one is uh, you are slowly moving into the pain, so there is some amount of uh, calming down perceptually. That calming down leads to changes in your uh, nervous system, your chemicals are changed, your opioids are secreted, your PAG calms you down and things like that happen. And also the placebo effect, right? It has nothing to do with um, uh, changing the peripheral, uh, any of your peripheral issues that easily. That is changing your uh, joint structures, putting it in the right place, uh, correcting the alignment or uh, fascia and things like that, right? Uh, thank you so much uh, for watching this video. If you want to uh, watch more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.